The Lakers beat the Orlando Magic 111 to 105. They were leading at half time, the Lakers 59 to 49, and their largest lead in this game was 16 points. I thought it was great to see the Lakers uh, shooting the lights out at times in that first half, especially from downtown. At times, it was like the Lakers couldn't miss and to see not only the bench but the players on the court really getting around each other and creating uh you know that positive environment and that that team bonding i thought that was great to see but then the magic just kept hanging around in that second half i felt like the lakers just took their foot off the pedal at times uh, and we really needed to feed anthony davis in the low post rather than having him on the perimeter in that fourth quarter at times there was iso ball. Uh, you know, there was a moment where D'Angelo Russell was caught in the corner. Luckily, the three-pointer he put up at the buzzer went in uh, just to beat the shot clock. Speaking of D'Angelo Russell, one rebound, six assists, 18 points. He had 10 in the first half. He was four out of eight from downtown. But the star of this game for the Lakers, uh, the real carrier in this game for them was Austin Reeves. Take a bow, you absolute superstar. Six rebounds, six assists. 35 points, that's a career high for him. He had 16 points in the first half. What a great game. He carried this team on his back at times, and we love to see the leadership from a young player like Austin Reeves. Anthony Davis had 11 rebounds, one assist, 15 points. He also had four blocks, so great to see AD getting back on the defensive end. Uh, but points-wise, you know, the Lakers just as I mentioned, kept him on the perimeter. They should have really fed him in the low post and attacked the opposition inside the paint. Troy Brown Jr., five rebounds, two assists, 12 points. He was four out of eight from downtown. For the Magic, Paolo Banquero, the rookie, six rebounds, three assists, 21 points. He had 15 in the first half. Franz Wagner, eight rebounds, seven assists, 21 points. He had seven in the first half. His three-point shooting uh, was not good in this game. He was 0 out of 8 from downtown. Wendell Carter Jr., 11 rebounds, 16 points. And Cole Anthony, five rebounds, three assists, and the 17 points. For the three-point shooting, Lakers 13 out of 32. The Magic 10 out of 38. Uh, the turnovers, Lakers had 15, Magic had 8. The Lakers got 7 points off the 8 Magic turnovers. And the Magic did a great job punishing the Lakers on their mistakes, scoring 18 points off the Lakers' 15 turnovers. So, Lakers, good to get a win. Great to see a huge contribution from Austin Reeves. I would have liked to see a bit more dominance at times in closing this game out. But still, great to get the win. And hopefully another one against a huge challenge on Thursday up against the Phoenix Suns. It's going to be a great contest. Hopefully we can manufacture back-to-back -back wins. Go Lakers! That recap and you want to see more of my content, remember to hit that thumbs up, like, comment and hit that red button down there that says subscribe. Much appreciated. For more content, follow me on my Facebook page and also my Instagram page.